Hi guys, and thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Joyce. I'm here to talk about Canada Pathway for Nurses. Guys, there's news, 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 news for nurses that there's another program that they don't require to do IELTS and they also don't require to do NCLEX. <laughs> you know, that is the click bit. But yeah, we are here to clarify a few things for you because there is so much information out there. But you know, on this channel, we are always coming to give you the right and the correct information, legit. So stay tuned to the end so that you learn something about these pathways that are mushrooming in Canada, making it easier for internationally educated nurses to be able to, uh, you know, to do their immigration to come to Canada and work as temporary nurses. So uh, now, um, you know, remember last year in November, around November, we had a program with uh, Ontario. And now we are having another one with British Columbia. So for Ontario, I have done a separate video on that. And maybe I'm going to put it on the description of this video so that you can compare the two pathways. Uh, and I hope there are other provinces that are going to join this club. And today we'll be discussing another province called British Columbia. So guys, as you all know, for nurses, all the 13 provinces, we have got th uh, three territories and the rest are provinces. So all of them, they, de they depend on uh, NNAS, NNAS for them to have, uh, you know, foreign nurses verified before they can get their license to practice in, in uh, you know, to practice in Canada. So for any foreign nurse, for them to practice in Canada, for any nurse, for them to do their process in any province, they have to start their journey from NNAS, okay? So some of you guys call it nurse. So uh, all the 13 provinces, yeah? they all have their own nursing board. So Ontario has got their own nursing council or nursing board, if you want to call it, British Columbia, New Brunswick, Alberta, all the provinces, they all have their own nursing board separately from each other. And they also run their councils different from each other. So it's not like the US, the way once you, you're done with CGFNS, you're sure that whichever province you go to work, whichever state you want to go to work, you can, you can smoothly continue with the process. For Canada, after your report, after your advisory report is released by NNAS and is sent to the province, the province decides what they want to do with your report. Now, in this case, we have talked about Ontario and we have said that Ontario has, re has released a shortcut for the internationally educated nurses, how they can do their process. And now we have the British Columbia now joining the club and they're saying that internationally educated nurses, they're saying that all, oh, I'm going to read for you and then I'm going to give you the summary or my understanding according to this pathway because I've seen other YouTubers and other people on Instagram giving wrong report. So the truth is, they're saying that all internationally educated nurses applicants must meet the mandatory requirements to be eligible for registration. So. They're saying that on the January 31st, 2023, I'm reading, the British Columbia uh, Council will uh, pilot a new registration process for international educated nurses that will eliminate most upfront fees, reduce duplication and increase options for credential assessments. So what you can do now you read out the announcement, sign up for email, and then blah, blah, blah. This link will be available for you on the description. And then new registration process is for applicants who submit an application after January 31st, 2023. So if you have January 31st, we are not yet there. If you have already supplied, you have if you have already applied to the council, your application will continue to be managed through the current process. So if you are educated as a nurse outside Canada and want to hold registration in BC, you will apply under international educated nurse category. Before applying for registration with BC, you must first apply to the NNAS. <laughs> Guys, do you see where we are getting? I knew, I knew it. 
There is no nurse in Canada that can be registered in any province without going through NNAS. Disclaimer, a must. So nursing professions in British Columbia, they are saying here that the healthcare system in BC is supported by a number of different nursing professions, including licensed practical nurses. Nurse, those are the nurses who have a diploma. Some provinces, they call them registered practical nurses. Then we have nursing practitioners. Those are the nurses that have masters in nursing. And we have registered nurses uh, and registered psychiatric nurses. Those are the nurses that have a degree. Now, supports and bursaries. The province of BC supports internationally educated nurses who wish to work in BC by providing bursaries to offset applications costs and nurses navigators to support them throughout the process. To find out more or express your interest in being con uh, contacted about next steps, please visit the uh, Health Match BC website. Now, the application process. <laughs> okay. One application, two nursing professions. Internationally educated, uh, educated applicants to BC are assessed for both registered nurse and licensed practical nurse through one application for one application fee. Applicants also have the option of applying as a healthcare assistant through the uh, Healthcare Aids and Community Healthcare Workers Registry. Note that BC does not regulate healthcare assistance. <laughs> Did you hear that? Applicants, let's say, let me repeat. Eh? Applicants also have the option of applying as a healthcare assistant through the <laughs> healthcare assistant through the healthcare aid, eh? healthcare aid and community health worker registry. And they are saying here that not better. The British Council, uh, the, the British Columbia Council of Nursing does not regulate healthcare assistance. So they have, they have washed their hands. <laughs> The same way as Ontario. Ontario have, has washed their hands from PSW. So the dual application enables applicants to enter the healthcare workforce sooner in the re resignation that matches their current nursing uh, competence. Nursing education and practice differs around the world. If you do not meet the competences required to practice as a registered nurse in BC, you may meet the competences required of a licensed practical nurse or a healthcare assistant. If you do not want to be assessed for both RN and LPN, please contact us at this request as considered on a case case by case case by case basis. Okay? If you do not want to be assessed for both for both RN and LPN, please consider them. They are they are um, they are recommending that you you get assessed for both RN and LPN myself too that's what i normally tell my nurses that is good to be uh, to be verified by nnas for both rn and lpn the reason is there are more jobs for lpn in canada than for rn the rn roles are very few not really few there are many but not as compared to lpn if you if an lpn and an rn are looking for a job the lpn will find a job faster than the rn so that's why i normally say get verified for both. And it's easier for you to get the license for LPN than the RN. Because remember for RN, you have to have a bachelor's degree in nursing for RN. But for LPN, you just need to have your diploma in nursing. Now, how do you apply? Step one, apply to NNAS. <laughs> Those of you that thought that you would escape the NNAS, it's here. For you to work, let me, let me say this, huh? Guys, to make your life easier. No, I'm going to give this summary at the end. Before applying to this council, you must apply to NNAS. Important is that only this council only requires one NNAS report to assess you for both RN and LPN. Wow, registration. That one makes it easier. So they're saying here that even if, yeah, I think it's the same for all. You can apply to NNAS as an LPN or RN, whichever, and then they are going to decide which one you qualify for. NNS will verify 
your identity and nursing education documents and evaluate your education based on Canadian standards and compared to current Canadian nursing requirements. You know, guys, I know why the BC has come up with this thing, because they have realized NNS or the whatever council has realized that everybody is applying to, is selecting Ontario, Ontario, Ontario. And now they have they have to introduce something that resembles the Ontario one so that we can have some nurses choosing British Columbia. But anyway, according to me, I suggest that you choose both Ontario on your NNAS. Go back to your NNAS report. Uh, you can always add or, or you can always increase a cadre. So in this case, you had already selected the Ontario because of the new program. Go ahead and add the, the, the New Brunswick, and uh, not the New Brunswick, this one, the British Columbia, according to me. It's good to add them. You never know. Just go and pay $220 extra, and then you can also have your report sent to BC. It's good to have the two provinces. Okay? The, so the first one is to have your NNES. <laughs> you cannot escape. The second one, apply to the British Columbia Council for nurses. Then English language proficiency. This one you can get exempted. As long as your first language is English, you don't have to do uh, English proficiency. So competency assessment. Then they have their own assessment. Registration exam and provisional registration. Guys, there is nobody who can work in Canada as a nurse without doing the registration exams. Then registration decision and then pay the registration fee. Assessing your application. When we assess your application for registration, we consider the following. Nursing education, your character, you have to have good character, fitness to practice nursing, competency, and, and, and English proficiency. That is what they look in there. It's the same as Ontario, according to me. Guys, I was reading for you the British, British Columbia website. So now, guys, let me give you a summary of Canada nursing process or the, the internationally educated uh, process for becoming a nurse in Canada. Disclaimer here, you cannot work in Canada as a nurse, as a nurse, if you are not a permanent resident or a Canadian citizen. It's clear. It's simple as that. You cannot work in Canada <laughs> as a but you cannot work without, as a nurse without being a permanent resident or a Canadian citizen. Something else, you cannot work in Canada as a nurse without doing your registration exams. The, in this case, it means that you have either to, to do your LPN exams. Remember, NCLEX is not for everybody. NCLEX in Canada is only for the nurses who have a bachelor's, a master, a, a bachelor's in nursing. They do NCLEX. The other nurses who are coming as LPN, they don't do NCLEX. They do other other funny, funny exams. <laughs> so you have to do that that exam, whichever exam they tell you, because sometimes they can tell you to do this, other times they can tell you to do this, especially for the LPN. So you cannot work in Canada as a nurse without doing the registration exams. Finally. You cannot practice as a nurse in Canada without having gone through NNAS process. Everybody, every nurse, they have to go through NNAS. For those of us who came to Canada before 2015, we never went through NNAS. Myself, I never did NNAS process. Why? Because before 2015 January, during our time, the old nurses, we used to go direct to the province. We do our application direct to the provinces. And then we get verified by the province, and then we get our license through the provinces. And even that time, you could not become a nurse without the permanent resident. And that is why during our time, they used to give us permanent resident as a landing document. So those of us who came that time, we landed at the Pearson Airport with our permanent resident like this, but without a license to practice as a nurse. <laughs> Canadian immigration, guys, is still a mystery, as a big mystery. But don't worry. We are digesting this on our group for, we have a group for the nurses. It's a telegram group whereby we, we just learn, we don't do immigration, but we learn about the, these processes for the nurses. So how, because it's really, really 
it's it's funny. So we do the we, we teach them how to do the NNS and the whole process until they become nurses in Canada. If you want to join that group, please send me your license on the description of this video. My email is joycecanada3 at gmail.com. My email is joycecanada3 at gmail.com. If you do not send me your license, you cannot join the Telegram group. It's as simple as that. If you don't, do not send me your license, your email is going to hang there forever. You'll not join there. The reason is because of the scammers. We don't want the scammers to join this group because when they join, they start sending people inboxes, asking them for money, stealing and all that. That's why we are very strict. We would rather have a small number of nurses, but we have to insist that you have to show us your licenses before we can allow you to the group. Yeah, so what we are saying about this temporary class for British Columbia is the same. It's the same as the Canadian, as the Ontario one. There's no difference. So join the group to learn more and see you in the next video. Bye.